grown up very much in like violin world, you know, the traditional stuff. And there are certain ideals to that, which are very beautiful. I mean, there's st I still love, you know, in terms of, of uh, whether you want to emulate Oistrakh or Chrysler or Itza Perlman or whatever. But there are those certain kinds of, um, yeah, heroes. <laughs> And, and um, but it's, uh, it's interesting to go beyond that in terms of uh, what your goals are ex uh, expressively and what you can use your instrument for and, and finding even more colors and sounds. And of course you get into wild stuff like all the extended techniques and all kinds of things like that, but ev even not even getting into that, but even just with what you would call conventional playing. Um, I think uh, being involved in music nowadays opens up a lot of your imagination. And then you can take that back to the older music too, and not, you know, do anything, you know, really egregious with it or anything, but, you know, just to have, have a real, uh, yeah, imaginative approach to things and not just be about, well, I'm making this beautiful uh, string sound and I've achieved that, which is, of course, a great achievement. It's hard to, <laughs> string instruments are hard to make beautiful sound. Of. And so it's true, it's a great thing, but it's, there's a lot more you can uh, do on a kind of emotional, human, expressive level. As an interpreter, and I'm not uh, somebody who composes. Uh, and nowadays, it's you know there are a lot of performers who are composing and writing their own music, which I think is wonderful. You know, it's great. Um, but at least up till now, <laughs> I haven't really felt felt the uh, the urge to write my own stuff or whatever. But I feel strongly about what I do as an interpreter. Um, it's both putting all my own imagination and hopefully uh, perceptiveness, insight, whatever, into the music and skill and all that, um, but also being a great collaborator with the, um, with the composers, whether they're not around anymore, so I have to figure that out, um, or with the people that can actually talk with me and work with me. Um, you know, there's a kind of like alchemy that goes, <laughs> that goes on, and so, you know, it's one of the more mysterious things about uh, music and sort of the melding that goes on between artist personalities in performance. You know, the composer's vision and what they were feeling, and the performers and their own personality, and how these things kind of come together. <laughs> Sometimes when you're playing new works and yeah, the score is like very complex and there's like all this stuff you're supposed to do and you feel a bit like you're 
you're kind of for hire just to like execute this thing, you know? And it's like, they did all the creative work and create this thing and now they're like, do it, <laughs> you know? So it can feel a little bit like that. And um, I think to be a great performer and interpreter, it's that matter of taking it beyond just like <laughs> just being able to do it, you know? But to to be actually making something expressive and and something that will be really compelling in the moment for for those listeners who are just you know experiencing it now. So I, yeah, so I try to, try to try to get past that uh, sort of nuts and bolts step as much as I can, and then just so then I feel like I I'm really contributing my artistry.